You're rolling. Where are we supposed to go? Hey there, welcome back to the Big Ski family. What an incredible week we had. We went so many different directions this week. I went to LA for four days to coach, and while I was doing that, the family went and just had a party. You guys went to the fair? Yes, we went to the Orange County Fair. Best fair ever, you said? Yes, amazing. It wasn't stinky and sticky? No. What was it? It was fresh and vibrant. Fresh and vibrant, guys. We're talking <laughs> a fair. Guys, where are we going? So we're at the fair, and behind me is a chairlift. Yes. How neat is that? That's an actual ride here at the fair. They're just and, missing the snow. You know, these people are just having a time of their life on their first chairlift. Yeah. No worries. Okie dokie. Hey, they're separating from the pack. Stay in the pack, you guys. <laughs> what do you do if lost? Bring some off. What do you do when you're lost? You ask a mom that has a couple kids and you say, do you have a phone? And if she says yes, then say, can you please call my mother? I know her number. And you say their number. And then you stay in the same spot. Nice. Good job. I like it. Okay, so we're here in the arts. Something, I think it's cooking mainly. And it's just so cute. And mommy is in heaven. My girlfriend is the one that's in charge of all the these displays. And so I am totally impressed. She's gifted. And I think we need some more. For the first board, we need, we need some appropriate music to stay in the park. Just you gotta work. That's it. He makes these out of watermelons. And honeydew. Some crazy stuff. Okay, I haven't even seen Star Wars, but. Possible. Is this stuff even edible? It's a video, Chloe. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a cake. Grapes and bread. Look at me. Look at this one, my goodness. Really fun. It's literally like peeling open. So insane. We met up with our cousins, Natalie. And we also and met up with the Aunt pigs. Linda. And the kids. Okay, and then we're at the pig station. So that's pretty neat. Can't go far without stopping for a break <laughs> and eating some stuff. We have traveled so far. We've journeyed long and hard. All right, we are now headed to the circus. Girls, where are we headed? Good vinegar chips. No. To the circus. Oh. Okay, we're a Stelfina ride. We're not supposed to have our cell phones <laughs> on the ride. 
So I'm gonna hold it down here so they can't see me. Okay, it's just too nice of here. Look at it. Okay, okay. You gotta put it down. <laughs> and we cheered for a pig and it won. Your pig and, won? Yeah. Oh, no way. Yeah. And so, yeah, the pig racing was really fun. Really fun pig race. Awesome, Bill. Yes. Thank you, buddy. All right, Kimmy, take it away. Okay, so we were at the fair, of course, and at the evening event was a demolition group for motorhomes. And then there was a figure eight racing with these bigger cars. They're on their way out. They're like all spray painted, don't have windshields and they literally go in a figure eight so when they it's a race so when they cross they're literally just skimming by each other and they'll just hit each other full on and just so that was like super fun two of the cars had to get towed out and then after that uh they brought in motorhomes that needed demolitioning or whatever anyway so the motorhomes they had to protect the radiators which are in the front because if those go then they were out of the demolitioning so they'd go and hit each other from the back side so they're backing up ripping around this little dirt circle smashing each other in rearranging each other and um, it went on for a while This week you did something that was unique in your education. You sat down with two of our MVPs at Surrounding, two of our leadership team, and you asked them some questions. What'd you ask them and what'd you find out? Um, they told, we asked them, we were like, what did you wish you did more of when you were younger? And Cheryl said, um, spend more time reading, reading and memorizing more scripture because she doesn't have as much personal time uh, now that she's older. I love that. And then Anthony said, um, Spending more time with his family. Spending more time with his family. That was really Tell me this, they both talked about what it meant to be an A player mm -hmm. on a team. What did they say? Anything that stood out? Cheryl said that it was in your attitude because it's um, you can't train an attitude. Well, attitude. Can, so a lot. Um, and then Anthony said drive and passion. Drive and passion. Think about it. Yeah. I mean, it's like someone that has batteries included and is excited about what they're doing. And, and I, if I recall, he said you can teach them the skills, but if they, you can't give them that drive and that passion. 
That's awesome. Yeah. Fun to learn, to learn, huh? Yep. Wow. Kelsey and I had the privilege of going back to visit Kyla and Adam in Kentucky. And we had such a good time. First of all, they bought a house, and so we got a tour through their house. And I was so proud of um, Kyla, just all her decorations, how they made the home just such a happy place that was really comfortable. And um, anyway, she's got skills. And she lined up some classes for us at the YMCA. One of the classes was called Pound. You get drumsticks and you actually move your drumsticks to the beat and do squats and lunges and all kinds of things. So that was a unique experience. And we also had a tennis class from a gal that has been following us on the Big Ski family and on my daughter's YouTube video, Now That I'm a Mother. And I guess she's been impacted by our family, which I'm so happy to know that we could be of a, an encouragement to other families. But um, anyway, she invited us to take a tennis class. She played for the University of Kentucky and she was great. And I couldn't believe the girls. They really have a knack for tennis. So that was fun. And we had a really enjoyed getting together with the Van Wingerdens, Kyla's in-laws, which are our dear friends now. And we took walks and we went out to lunch. We went thrift store shopping, getting Kyla some uh, new clothes and that's a fun highlight for us as girls. So we got actually a suitcase full of clothes for Kelsey, like a whole new wardrobe. I've never, the best thrift stores I've ever seen are in Kentucky and um, they're amazing. So at great prices and all name brands and so anyway that was really fun. The kids were on a soccer league and so Kyla, Adam and Kelsey all enjoyed playing soccer which is always fun for me to see them play. Um, as a family, we used to play every single week for two hours, and so their skills are really good, and um, it's good to see them getting involved and staying physical still. One of my other highlights when we were at the Van Wingerden home was seeing Kyla's gardens. She has grown all kinds of green beans, and she's always had a green thumb and enjoyed being outside, and it was dusk, and we came in from our walk and I'm like, I gotta see the garden. So we went out there and picked green beans and cucumbers and had them in our salad. Mm -hmm. And um, anyway, we had the flashlight out there trying to find all the goodies. I'm so glad that Kyla's using the things that she loves in her life now and kind of replicating the things that she enjoyed as a teenager in our home. Sad to leave them. I'm just looking forward to the next time that we get to go back. I'm so while Janice was back in Kentucky visiting Adam and Kyla and Kelsey and having a great time back there, the children and I had a phenomenal time together. We go, woke up Saturday morning, and again, I love spending time with my children. And we mapped out our day, and we started out with kind of a whole house clean, inspired by now that I'm a mother, our daughter Catherine Joy, you know, and I'm like, let's clean this whole place up in no time flat, you know, walls to floors to ceilings to everything in between. And everybody got a spot, and we dry raced on the board, but it was a blast. We got a lot done really fast. And we said, hey, when we're done, we'll go down to Laguna Beach to our private little secret beach that we've told you about before. When we were down there, we found something we'd never seen before. And it was a brand new blowhole that because the tide was high, waves would come in and the children were like, daddy, you gotta come see this.
Made it. Good work. Good work. Oh, it's good to take some deep breaths. Good to take some deep breaths. I know, huh? Had your oxygen mask on. It was absolutely just gorgeous. The weather was awesome. But being out there, again, in God's creation, together, adventuring as a family is just a highlight for us. So this week, there was a lot of moving parts. But in it, uh, it was really fun to just kind of establish a rhythm, even while Janice was gone. We had wonderfully consistent Bible times in the evening. We had our routines in the morning and our getting up and exercising and just the structures throughout the week are really important to us. There, I know what makes Janice so successful in parenting and the way she works. I try to duplicate that when she's gone. And when I'm out of pocket, the children do the same kinds of things and run it uh, the same way. So we do school, we do our, we wake up in the morning, we had a workout, we do all these structures and it provides just a lot of stability and confidence um, because children need to be on a track. We need to be doing things that are productive and not just chilling and milling. So anyways, phenomenal week overall, a lot of great times. And uh, anyway, so glad, we were so happy to welcome Janice back home uh, at the LAX airport. And boy, do we miss our mama. It's mama appreciation in every way. Unfortunately, she came back to piles of laundry and everything else. I didn't touch that. We didn't get to it. But anyways, so glad we uh, have you along on this journey. Feel free to subscribe, follow, comment. Appreciate you so much and look forward to seeing you next week.